Sorry. Give your scrunches up a place to sleep. We'll probably be here for a while. Huh? That's the best order you gave all week. <laughs> Want to see me, Lieutenant? Yeah, sit down. This is Sergeant Perkins at Communications Center. I do. Hi, Sergeant. I hope you and your men haven't settled in yet. Oh, well, we're hoping to. Uh, Kirby's out looking for a place now to sleep. You better explain it to him, Sergeant. You're being sent with two of my men to deliver field radios to a group of French partisans who will support us and act as observers as we go into the sector. What's the matter with their reconnaissance, Lieutenant? Well, the terrain is pretty rugged. Deep valleys, trees, etc. No chance. Well, field radios, they don't have a long enough range. Oh, so you're an expert on radio transmission, eh, Sergeant? No, I'm no expert, but I read the manual. Well, I helped write it. Of course, Sergeant Saunders is right about the limited range of field radios. However, the field radio people will be feeding bits and pieces of information to a main radio hidden away in a country house. The owner will coordinate and transmit to us. Now, you'll deliver your field radios to a man named Fontaine. Intelligence doesn't want the crowd smelling out the location of the main radio, so they've arranged the rendezvous point away from the house. Right here. The equipment is all ready to go. You can leave immediately, Sergeant. In broad daylight, Lieutenant. Well, we're lagging behind division. We've got to pull up the line to keep the crowds from taking advantage. The equipment that you'll be carrying is critical, so you'll have to be very careful with it. Well, I'll do my best to see that nothing happens to the equipment. Right, out. Perkins, your CEO just called. One of the men who's supposed to go out on the mission can't make it. You'll be taking his place. Well, that doesn't make sense, sir. I'm not worth anything in the field. My job is with Com Center. Well, your CEO will fill you in on the details. But you better get ready, because you will be going. Yes, sir. Yes or no, Lieutenant? I don't think I know what you mean. Well, this is Sergeant Perkins. I don't like the idea of going out with him. Well, we can't always choose our companions in this war, Saunders. Well, I know that, Lieutenant, but uh, what I'm trying to say is I don't feel like putting my squad on the line with him. Sounds to me like you've got problems. I've got a few problems. You see this map? I've been staring at it for the past two days. It's not just a map. It's a jigsaw puzzle. And unless I can put the pieces together, there are going to be a lot more lives on the line than just your squads. Well, look, Lieutenant, I don't know about this jigsaw puzzle. But I do know I'll be taking unnecessary risk if I send my men out with a man like Perkins. Well, Perkins and this jigsaw puzzle are pretty closely related, so you better try to understand. Now, I'll put it as simply for you as I can. 
If the crowds knew how weak we were, they could knock us a week from next Sunday. Now, we can't move ahead because we don't have enough information. We can't move back because it'll show them just how weak we are. So we're stuck with a man like Perkins, huh? Well, Com Center says he's the only man who could do the job, and I believe Com Center. So I guess you're stuck with Sergeant Perkins. An oddball and a bunch of civilians. Some way to run a war. Yeah. Some way to run a war. Look, I'll be standing here waiting to hear from the Frenchman's radio at the Chateau just as soon as his men report him from the field. Now, as for Perkins, our staying alive may depend upon your keeping Perkins alive. Saunders. Good luck. Carry this stuff. About three more miles. I think I'm getting hungry. Hey. Oh, sorry, Sarge. What are you trying to do? Blind me? Just an accident. I'm sorry. Well, look out where you're going. You said it was Sarge, so let's forget it. Well, that's not, Sergeant. I read your manual, too. Look out for low hanging branches. Boy, oh boy, we should got a live one this trip. <laughs> a little nervous. First combat patrol. Are you kidding? Hey, Sarge, did you know that? Let's say I had an idea. <laughs> Three stripes, and this is his first time out. Can't blame him. He's only been in the Army nine months. Well, that explains it. He's a genius. At least that's what they say at the communication center. They promoted him real fast. Okay, let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. percentage of wearing ourselves out. If we run into Kratz, I'd like to have some wind left. Mox has been telling me you've only been in about nine months. Oh, I become the object of conversation, huh? Perkins, look, this is your first time out. You better learn how to relax. I never relaxed before in my life, Sergeant. This isn't the place to start. Who's on the lookout for Germans? We all are. You know, Saunders, you seem so casual about the prospect of dying. I wonder why. Perhaps life is meaningless to you. You take a lot for granted. be a genius at communication center. But I peg him for a washout if things get rough out here. He'll shape up. Sure he will. You're just saying that because we're stuck with him. I never saw you take that much lip off anybody. Well, I like you, Sir Turvey. We're stuck with him. We 
The Army really operates on the effort and reward theory, doesn't it? They put me in communications, I clear up the mess, and where do they send me? Here. That reward might save a few lives. Or lose a few. Get down. Never get through them. We'll go around them. Can't risk that. I said we'll go around them. After you, Sergeant. mission. I should have taken that into account. Everybody up here had a first mission. You were trained for it. Cage, how is he? He can walk. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, gotta wait till it gets dark before we head back. We're not quitting, Perkins. We're going to deliver those radios. Are you serious? Germans know we're here. I'm injured. Marx is lying back there with all of our extra equipment in his knapsack. There's no reason for us to go on. No, that you had to say. Gage, take the point. All right, Saunders. You're taking my life in your hands. Huh? That's right. And our lives are in your hands, and don't you forget it. Now move out. I believe you are looking for me, Sergeant. 
If you're looking for radios, I'm looking for you. What's your name? Fontaine. I'm looking for you. Come on. All right, take off your equipment. Here's your curve. Take a look at it across the bridge. This is Sergeant Perkins. He'll tell you all about this stuff. You are wounded, Sergeant. Stupid observation. Yeah, we ran into the Krauts a little ways back. My men do not speak English. If you explain the operation of the radios to me, I will translate for you. Now, well, I speak French. I speak four languages. Bad. Attention, SPCA, DDO. I do not appreciate my men to be referred to as clumsy fools, Sergeant. Perkins, you watch what you say in all four languages. You got it? Supplementaire, et des Ça, ça ne marche pas, comprenez-vous? Bon, allez-y. Très bien, Salon. Allez, chargez les batteries et en route. Qu'est-ce que tu fais là, petit? Je suis Monsieur Fontaine. Allez, viens. Got a visitor. I almost shot him. Jacques, qu'est-ce que tu fais ici? La radio dans la cave ne marche pas. Quand tu m'envoies pour vous la dire. The main radio in the house is not working. What's wrong with it? I'm not sure, Sergeant. Grand Père hopes one of you can come and look at it. Without the main radio, all of this is useless. How far is it to your house? A few minutes. We're supposed to stay away from that house. We were told to deliver the field radios to feed the main radio. So patrols are a waste of time if that main radio isn't working. What makes you so sure that I can fix it? Well, you're the expert. You wrote the manual. Remember? All right, move out. Stay apart. And no firing. Attendez moi au poste. Bon, très bien. Fine house once. That's open ground out there, so watch yourselves. Bad people, right down. 
zu hauen. What kind of vehicle is it? I don't know what kind of vehicle it is, but I'll tell you what's inside of it. A radio direction finder. That's not where the radio is. to your house before looking for the radio? No. Perkins, how does that radio tracking equipment work? Very accurately. When they pick up a radio transmission, they find out what direction it's coming from. And they go to another point and do the same thing. And they triangulate both directions. And where they intersect, that's where the radio is. Maybe they took a fix on that radio before it went dead. They didn't finish their tracking. They could be guessing, canvassing the area, asking questions. Well, they could be in there now, destroying the radio. By the way, we're going to have to wait here and find out. Look, Saunders, even if they're just asking questions, why don't we leave well enough alone? Let's go to a new location and set up a new radio. That might take more time than we can afford. We wait. The sergeant has no choice. Sergeant and I are different kinds of men. We stand for different things. I don't think you stand for anything, Perkins. I don't think you believe in anything. I believe in myself, my mind, my body. That I can count on. A real machine, huh? Call it what you like. But I've spent a lifetime developing this mechanism, giving it all I've got. You think I want to destroy you? I didn't send you on this mission, Perkins. I was sent by someone like you. There's no sanity in the world, Saunders. Just ignorance, violence. I believe everybody has a right to prosper, to live, to grow. That's why I hate violence, violent people. They're destroying the world, trying to destroy me. So you see, this mechanism, as you say, that I'm trying to save, has more worth and more dignity than blind animal courage. Sergeant, the house. Sergeant, my grandfather André Leclerc, my grandmother René Leclerc. C'est Sergeant Perkins. C'est lui qui va réparer la radio. Enchanté, madame. Enchanté, monsieur. Oh, vous parlez français? Oui. Les éléments sont venus. Et une radio? Ils savent que nous avons une radio, mais ils ne l'ont pas encore trouvée. Ask them why the crowds were here. I just did. The Germans know there's a radio around here. They don't know exactly where. They've been asking questions. Wait up, monsieur. Dans le coin, là-bas. The radio is in the cellar. You can only reach it from here. I'll show you. There's a room to start. Page, where would you keep a look out at those windows?
Check the power supply. Nothing's wrong there. I already checked the converter. It's broken. Let's see. I think the main trouble is in the buffer stage. I think I have some buffer tubes in my bag. Take a look. See if you can find a DT-221. Here it is. Good. What do you know about this boy? I've read all I could about the theory of radio transmission. It explains the buffer stage. Did you get all those books? Some I bought, others I borrowed. Some I stole from the Germans. These are my favorite. Philosophy of the Western World, Gerda, Nietzsche. Oh, Midsummer Night's Dream. You read all these? At least three times. I read while I watch the radio for my grandparents. How'd you get interested in them? Before the war, I went to school for five years. The last, I've taught myself. And do you understand everything you read? No, not completely. But what I don't understand, I feel inside. I know someday it will be all clear. The eye of man hath not heard, the ear hath not seen. The hand is not able to taste, his tongue to conceive. Now the heart report what my dream was. And you fight Germans too? We do what we must, Sergeant. Yeah, well, uh, let's see what we got here. out there, one of you gonna strain an eyeball. Mm. It's a screwy setup, ain't it? Yep. Here we are standing right in the middle of crowd territory. Sergeant Fauntleroy right down there in the basement playing with his radio. Well, it may not to be something important. Well, we could get killed. That's very important. Coward dies a thousand times. Brave only once. That's about all it takes, ain't it? <laughs> you were right. It was the buffer tube. Now there's something wrong with the receiver. I gotta work on it. Well, while you're doing that, I could get us some bread and cheese. Yeah, that'll be fine. Gone. I think the sergeant and I will work well together. Dis donc, est-ce qu'il sait comment reparer la radio? Je pense. Mais le sergent veut manger. Oh, je m'en occupe. You got my eyes worrying about you, John. Yes. C'est un brave. You don't scare easy, do you? The trick is to hide the fear. Jack? Voila. Merci, Gomer. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bonne chance. How's he coming? Well, I found out what was wrong. It was a faulty IF alignment. Huh. Why didn't I think of that? What would you have done if you had? I'm not completely sure. Well, here, let me show you. Put 
fish here. Now, by watching the meter, you can tune back and forth and get maximum voltage. I see. There. Oh, you're gonna do just fine, Jack. Sergeant. Bon, d'accord. Une minute. Are they finished down there? Not yet, but they're coming along. La radio est presque réparée. Je te tiendrai au courant. That was Genet, one of the men who was with us. He said the Germans are moving in the wooded area, near Lomo. How many? A great many. Troops, tanks, artillery. They're coming through an old mine tunnel. Means our air observers won't be able to see them. But we'll know how large a force they have. How far is Le Mans? About uh, half a mile. field radio and see if we can make our way back within range of our own lines. Because it'll take too long. The odds are better if we transmit from here. Better for who? For a couple of thousand of our boys who might be wiped out if the crowds pull the surprise attack, that's who. Sergeant! Radio switched. Is it repare? Yes, it's repare. Check my king too. This is White Rook. Checkmate King 2, this is why, Rick, over. Checkmate King 2, this is why, Rick, do you read me? Do you read me, over? White Rook, your transmission is weak, do you read me, over? Checkmate King 2, over. Checkmate King 2, do you read me, over? White Rook, your transmission is weak. Acknowledge. What are you, Sir Tyler? Sehr interessant. Herr Hartmann. Yeah? He thought the American are here. Good. Come, Mensch, come. So, come, let's get here. Checkmate, King Two. This is White Rook. Checkmate, King Two. This is White Rook. Over. King Two. This is White Rook. Do you read me? Do you read me? Over. This is White Rook. Do you read me? Over. White Rook, check King 2. Over. Perkins. This is White Rook. Do you read me? Over. White Rook, do you read me? Your transmission is weak. Over. Try it again. Checkmate. King 2, come in. I read you weak, White Rook. Over. Copy. They're back. Hey, they watched the mission. Sarge! Sarge! Not so bad. I just told with the transmission, Sergeant. No, we can't get through yet. You must keep your men down there till you are finished. Go ahead, Sarge. We'll take care of the Germans. All right, you two come on down. You're going to allow that boy to go up there? You keep working on that radio.
Bonjour, Kapitän. Zwei Mann nach außen. Lima, durchsuchen das Haus. Zu Befehl. Verdrehen. Qu'est-ce qui se passe, Kapitän? Checkmate King 2, you're coming in week. Over. Écartez-vous, ou je pourrai vous fusiller. Ne lui faites pas de mal, je vous en prie. Checkmate King 2, you're coming in week. Over. Que je ne comprends pas, Capitaine, c'est pourquoi vous êtes revenu ici. Ne me mentez plus. Je sais que les Américains sont dans les environs. Je sais que vous avez honte à ces radios ici. Checkmate King 2, come in. Là, je le vis-tu la vérité. Checkmate King 2, come in. Over. Sergeant, I gotta help that boy. No, Sergeant. You must not interfere. Interfere? They're gonna kill them. And the boy. They knew the risks they were taking. We cannot help them. They would not want us to die uselessly. Checkmate King 2. Please come in. Over. Checkmate King 2. I have vital information. Please acknowledge. Over. They're gonna kill the crew. And they're gonna kill that boy, too. Checkmate King 2. I have vital information. Please acknowledge. Over. Saunders, will you please listen to me? Ne lui faites pas mal, je vous en prie. On a trouvé un soldat américain. Il avait des pièces de radio dans son sac. Maintenant, dites-moi, où sont les autres Oh, je vous fais fusiller. Il n'y a pas d'Américains ici. Checkmate King 2, come in. Over. Leutnant, lass ihn laufen und erschieß ihn. Pour la dernière fois, allez-vous me dire la vérité Je vous ai dit la vérité, Capitaine. Il a dit la vérité, je le jure. Idiot. Maintenant, cours. Cours. Maintenant. Ah, 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 ah. Check my king too. This is White Rook. Please acknowledge. Over. Oh God, will you forget that thing for a moment? Checkmate, King 2. This is White Rook. Please Where's acknowledge. Where's all that blind courage when you need it? All of a sudden, you want to join the human race, huh? Well, those three people up there, they joined a long time ago. They do their job, we do ours. You think it's easier for me to stay down here than it is for you? You get on that radio and you make it work. Checkmate, King 2. This is White Rook. Over. Checkmate, King 2. This is White Rook. Over. Checkmate King 2, this is White Rook, over. Bring the Junge here. Arro! No, no, no! Dites-moi, où est la radio? Où sont les Américains? Où j'ai vous fait fusiller comme votre grand-père? Ne lui faites pas de mal! Ne lui faites pas de mal! Don't be Junge. Lasse-moi Biden. Checkmate King 2, this is White Rook, come in. Checkmate King 2, this is White Rook, over. White Rook, we've got you loud and clear. Send your message. There's a large concentration of cups and saucers moving into Sector C. Do you read me? Over. Sir, this is Lieutenant Hadley. I'm getting a transmission from one of my patrols. They report a heavy concentration of German troops and vehicles moving through the wooded area in Sector C. I recommend we lay in a barrage immediately, sir. Yes, sir. Checkmate King 2, do you acknowledge? Checkmate King 2, did you acknowledge my last transmission? White Rook, this is Checkmate King 2, over.
Jack, will you tell your grandmother that we have to leave? We'll get rid of the Germans and... Tell her we're sorry, but we haven't got the time to stay behind and help. I understand, Sergeant. With the rest of the Americans fight as well as you have, we'll meet again very soon. Tell your officers that our radio will be working as long as they need it. Why, Jack? Au revoir, Sergeant. Maybe someday we'll talk about the books again, huh, Sergeant? You can count on it. Back to our lines. What you say, Sergeant? Well, you're the expert. That's right, Perkins. Help write the manual. Sergeant. Looks like everybody's pulling out. Yeah, the crowd's got a taste of her artillery. Took off. She's got that jigsaw puzzle put together, don't you? Nice to you and Sergeant Perkins. Yeah, Perkins. Guess it takes all kinds. Yep, all kinds. Close our shop, soldier. 